All right, guys, uh, let's jump into part two of this discussion. Straight flowing hair teaches that it teaches of one that can gracefully hold or let go of life. Uh, thoughts can extend in a uniform manner, flowing directly from the source, like the movement of water flowing from the mountain to the top of the ocean, and then the water can rise up again as, you know, evaporation to fall once more and drain. Um, for those with <laughs> curly hair, they will have the potential to understand the spiral uh, curve and energy of life. Their thoughts teach about the decrease and enlargement of life's movement. And the growth on Earth. Uh, you know, it winds. It's a circular energy. It's all, all, all thoughts in life tend to, you know, ebb and flow. Uh, you know, native children are taught from a young, young age how to groom and care for themselves and their immediate and extended families. Uh, they're taught that grooming one another unifies the bond of a family. Caring for one another strengthens our family ties. Respecting one another maintains family harmony, and loving one another defines a family's pride. Uh, we're taught that to correct one, an one another uh, in our appearance and habits, uh, to strengthen one another continually, uh, causing them to be beautiful, strengthen them in the ideal that they are an extension of the Creator's thoughts of love. They emanate from the thoughts of perfection and strive to become, to pass from one state to another and to enhance perfection. Uh, as children are raised up, uh, so too is the um, spiritual level of teaching race uh, to elevate their spirits. In youth and innocence, uh, mankind is blessed with a bounty of beautiful hair. Uh, the more pure and sacred your thoughts, the longer, healthier, and vibrant your hair is. Um, as humans age and lose their innocence, excuse me, um, as we lose our innocence, falling off the path of light, um, harboring dark thoughts, uh, losing the light of pure thought, Humans lose their hair and the shine it once had. Caring for hair is very important for like the sweet grasses of our mother, the earth. Our hair holds the purity of our intent. Um, for, I mean, our thoughts can purify the thoughts of others. Uh, native children are taught to wash and rinse their hair and are taught that proper use of the gifts of the plant people learning which bulbs, uh, roots, herbs will bring luster and light to one's hair 
Maintaining the health of one's hair is important, as is maintaining all physical and spiritual health and wholeness. Uh, uh, the native children are also taught combing rites. Um, special combs were, and in some places still, uh, are used for the sweet grass rites, and ornate combs were, and still are, made for human hair. Um, careful consideration is given to the types of woods, bones, metals, jewels, and brush materials as well as the symbol and spirit designs for the best physical and spiritual purpose of the task of combing one's hair. The porcupine, for instance, shared itself by giving native women a sacred comb which was made from the bone found on the underside of the porcupine's tail. After taking the skin off, drying it, and making a wooden handle, it was ready to use. Combing of your hair is the act of separating and adjusting the hair so that it will lay or move in the best or most beautiful way. Native families, knowing that our hair as the physical manifestation of our thoughts also understand that our thoughts need to be corrected and adjusted by the Creator so that we will move gracefully along the beauty way the if you will sacred path of life uh, when when we're combing our hair each day, uh, we are reminded to keep our thoughts pure. Uh, the hair that falls out and gathers in our brushes and combs is gathered up and kept in a special place or pouch for the 28 days of the moon month, you know. Uh, this hair that we collect is... Uh, it's a recollection, a record of our past thoughts and deeds. At the time of the full moon, the time of illumination and completeness, the hearts of the families, the women, gather in ceremony, offer the thoughts of their